Hey guys, Thais here with a different video. A different video than the normal vlogs. I'm in Poland right now and I get asked this question a lot. Like how do you navigate? Like what do you use for navigation? And currently most of the time, I think like 95% of the time I use the same app, which is called Locus. You can download it in the Play Store. I'm not gonna show you how to do that in this video because you just have to type in Locus Map or Locus App. I don't know what the paid version gives you in any benefit. I just use the free version and it works completely fine for me. But yeah, in this video I want to show you how to download the actual offline maps that you can use on Locus. So yeah, let's jump into it. Alright, so if you open up Locus, as you can see I have a map. You probably have nothing on there. Uh, I'm using the cycle map by the way, so as you can see I've got um, these uh, blue ones and these red ones are cycle routes and right now I'm following one by the way. This red one right here, this part was actually closed off so I had to go this way. And the beauty about the locus map is that you can actually see everything, like everything is on there. Uh, it's open source. Uh, another cool thing is that you can see where you are, so the days where you have to look and what, what street you are are gone. And for the rest it's the same as an, as an paper map. It's basically the same, you only know where you are and when you're going into direction uh, you also know um, which way you're headed. As you can see it does have advertising. I, I booked this place on booking.com so there you go, a little advertisement for them. Anyways, you're probably not gonna be able to see much uh, on here. I actually don't know what it looks like when you don't have any maps on there. But to download maps, you go to Google Chrome and then you type in open, here, there it is. This is the address, openandromaps.org. And you can choose German or English, but it kind of looks the same. You choose this hamburger icon right here and then you do carton downloads, which means map downloads. Now you can, if you go uh, on the Eurovilla routes, you can do the European or Europäische Radrouten. But also the Eurovilla routes are also shown in uh, just the country. And then you just choose the right category, like Germany is so big that it has its own category. But if you cycle in Europe, for example, you just go Europe. I actually have to download the map of Slovakia, so I'll do that right now. Um, here it's a bit tricky because here you have all the different um, countries and regions that you can download. But you don't click on this download link, you actually click on something else. So I'm going to try to find Slovakia, there it is. And you click on the plus icon, as you can see. And then all you have to do is click on Locus right here. So Android install on Locus. Um, I don't know if this is the same for iOS, but I think you just have to click Locus. And uh, it takes you to the Locus map. And the action is shown right here in the corner. So as you can see Slovakia has been downloaded, you can zoom in, um, these are pretty much all cycleways, looks very green, it's very cool. Not to say that these are all cycle paths, those are indicated with a different color, but these are just cycle routes, Those, so you often have better roads. As you can see this is probably a paved one right here. This is also the beauty of the cycle map. It's so detailed as it's got all like the sand path and, and the forest paths on there as well. It's really great. Yeah, it's got like every building on there and every little, yeah, everything like, you can see places where to eat, where to have a coffee, playgrounds. One thing it doesn't show is grocery shops. That would be very nice if you have like uh, little shopping carts on there as well. That would really help me out. And also maybe gas stations, which I don't think it has as well. Um, if you don't see this type of map with all the cycle routes, you can go to the hamburger icon, I think. You just have to play around with it. You can, I think, uh, choose a different layer. Oh, here you can actually delete them as well. Because right now I don't need to go to Estonia anymore, so I can just delete that one. And these offline maps do take some... Do, do have some space, like a couple hundreds of megabytes sometimes, so if your phone is like full, this is where to delete them. Oh, here in the bottom left corner, you can go layers, map themes, yeah, okay, map themes, and then you can do hike and bike, and, uh, oh, that's very different. And yeah, then you get a different type map, okay, that's very interesting. Okay, so I just found the right layer. You go map themes, 
and then you have to go elevate le if you choose any of the other ones you don't see the psychorats for some reason but you have to go for the external theme elevate le and you'll see all the psychorats on there just for your information i just panicked a little bit because i couldn't find my own map anymore but there you go so yeah, that's the app I use pretty much 95% of the time. Yeah, it's great, especially for exploring. Often you find like little weird uh, areas on there and sometimes I like, I wanna check it out, so I go there. And yeah, I used to use Komoot a lot, but Komoot uh, is very good if you want to just plan out a route. So if you want to go from A to B and then like kind of like the best way sort of possible, but I find that with the Locus, I can better manually find a way to get somewhere maybe even easier than on Komoot or Google Maps because most of the time I know that that is a paved road and that is not a paved road. I mean, you kind of learn. Uh, in Estonia, Latvia and Lithuania, the yellow routes were often maybe paved, maybe not. Here in Poland, they seem to be paved, but the white ones not all seem to be paved. But it's just, yeah, it's just some getting used to, I would say. Try it out for once, you know, right around your area with it or whatever and see if you like it as much as I do. Anyways, that's it for this video guys. Like it if you liked it. Please leave a comment down below. Please subscribe if you haven't already. I'll see you guys in the next one. Goodbye.